Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to delete Gmail contacts from your Android device. Okay guys, so I uh, got this uh, new uh, Samsung Galaxy Edge recently and I wanted to go through and do some photos for 123MyIT on Instagram. So I went to the Play Store and uh, downloaded uh, Instagram and that was fine. But what I had to do to actually download the app, I had to actually enter in my um, Gmail details for my account which you know isn't a problem um, but essentially what happened is it downloaded and installed a Gmail account um, on the phone without really asking me if I wanted that on there so it was very intrusive of Google to to do this and what it actually did is it installed a whole bunch of um, contacts as you can see here from uh, from my uh, Google account essentially like I might not want necessarily want all my contacts uh, from my Gmail account on my personal phone because you know they're email contacts they're not really phone contacts as such so the big problem that a lot of people have is they can't get rid of those contacts once they're actually synced now there's a few ways to get around it what you can actually do is you can actually delete if we go into our accounts here and we look up the Google account into the account into the account again and you can see here everything's being synced okay so we can go up to more and then remove account so before we go remove remove an account there is some other ways you could possibly uh, get rid of these contacts you can take the sync off contacts and then you can manually go back into your contacts and then you can manually delete the contacts that you don't need if you're like me and you've got quite a lot of contacts on there it might actually take you some time so I don't really want to waste my time going through and, and trying to fix up uh, some of Google's mistakes here um, so if we go back into accounts alright so we can do it that way we can turn off the sync um, there is another way too that we can also if we go back into contacts and then you go into more settings contacts to display and then you can choose which contacts here you can display so for example all contacts will show everything okay well let's go back again our settings uh, contacts to display so all contacts uh, we can set it to display device only contacts that are on the device um, you can try this one but what I found is uh, it's it still brings up it still brings up those contacts because they're already synced to the device so you won't be able to get rid of them that way let's have a look as well you can do sim card you can do whatsapp contacts only uh, gmail contacts only which doesn't help and you can do a customized customize list so and then hit that cog button and then you can actually go into here and take the tick out of my contacts hit done up the top so hopefully it's it's uh, going to work for us now so let's try it again no it hasn't okay so once those contacts are on there this is the frustrating thing once those contacts are on there it's very hard to get rid of now those uh, little tips might work for you hasn't worked for me obviously as you can see so what we're going to do is go back in we're going to go into accounts we're going to go into Google Google Gmail and we're going to hit more remove account okay so I'm going to remove the account totally um, from the phone all right so now if we go back into contacts I do a search nothing there great all right so we've got no contacts we've removed the account now just bear in mind if you don't if you can get away with doing it the other way maybe you've only got a few contacts that are synced just go through and delete them there's no issue however if you're still having troubles you can put this account back on at any stage so it's no drama just make sure that you do a backup of all your data before you do any of this type of stuff obviously because uh, there is a chance you could lose your other contacts okay so let's go back into Gmail we want to hit just skip there we want to set up an account a new Gmail account all right you put in your email address you put in your password and then next all right you want to hit accept okay now it's setting up your account now what you want to do very quickly when you get to this next window okay you want to take the tick out of that swipe down really quick swipe across and put the put the um, phone in flight mode okay so it says flight mode is enabled now okay so what this flight mode will do is it will turn off that ability for that account to sync the contacts to your phone before it gets a chance to all right so we're going to go back to the home button we're then going to go back into our apps our settings and our accounts 
then you go back into Google, you're going to go back into the Google account, and see, nothing has been synced yet, hopefully. We're going to turn this off, and actually we're going to turn anything else off that we don't want. So, I don't want sync data, I don't want calendar, I don't want drive, I don't want, uh, actually I do want Gmail, so I'm going to leave Gmail on there, because I want the email to come through to my phone. I don't want Google Fit data, because I don't have that. I don't want Google Books, I don't want all this music, I don't want newsstand, I don't want people's details, I don't want uh, Picasso. Alright, so we're going to go back now, back again. Okay, now hopefully, with any luck, if we go back to our contacts menu here, and we do a search, nothing, no results. Great. Let's see what happens now. If we go back into our Gmail account, alright, we want to turn flight mode off. Okay, clear those out of there. Turn flight mode off. Back up your device's data, app data. Now I've taken the tick out of that. You can leave that in if you want. If you want to back up your device data, I don't need that sort of stuff. All right, done. Okay, so we've got Gmail account installed again, and we're going to go back into our contacts and hit A. Bang. No contacts. Great. Just what I want. Okay, let's go back into our accounts and settings again. We're going to go into here. Now, your Google account is now syncing. Okay, so let's let it sync first. Bang, you can see there it's only syncing our Gmail. Exactly what we want. Okay, so you can see that the Gmail account is syncing there now. And if we go back out and go into our contacts menu and type in A, it's not bringing up any of the contacts from Gmail. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.